Flat bread and oven baked bread with various kinds of toppings were consumed by ancient Greeks, Romans, and Egyptians. However, the first dish to be known as pizza was invented in 1600 in Naples and was served to the poor Neapolitans. They were always in search of work and wanted something that was cheap and easy to eat on the go. This led to several contemporary authors to term this food habit as disgusting. Pizza was spawned by the food writers for the longest time and was always related with poverty. Things changed when the pizza maker Raffaele Esposito, who is known as the father of modern pizza, was given the duty to curate a special pizza for the Queen Margarita. He made us pizza using red tomatoes, green basil and white mozzarella resembling the colours of Italian flag. It immediately won the approval of the Queen Margarita and came to be known as Pizza Margarita, which is a staple even today. In the late 19th century, the Italians started migrating to the Americas, carrying their food and recipes with them. In 1905, the first pizzeria, known as Lombardi's, was set up in the United States by an Italian immigrant. By 1930s, the pizza business boomed and today, it is one of the most eaten dish in the entire world. Traditionally, pizza is cooked on a wood-fired oven. However, today we'll cook it on a stove top pan without the use of any yeast. To make the pizza dough, we'll require the following ingredients. We will mix the ingredients till it becomes frothy. Then we will add all purpose flour to this mixture. We'll add some water and knead the flour till it becomes a smooth dough. We'll grease the dough and let it rest for around 30 minutes and we'll go on to make our pizza sauce. After cooking the spices in the oil for around 1 to 2 minutes, we'll go on to add the garlic. Next, we'll add the tomatoes. Once the tomatoes become soft, we'll mash it with our spatula. Next, we'll add some sugar to balance the tanginess of the tomatoes and after cooking it for a minute more, we'll switch off the flame. Once cool, we'll grind it into a semi-fine consistency to make our pizza sauce. Since I'll be making chicken pizza, now I'll go on to cook the chicken. If you're making veg pizza, you can totally skip this step.
cook it for 2 to 3 minutes more till the sauce dries up. My dough has been resting for some time now. I'll knead it slightly till the oil incorporates into it. We'll require one third of the dough to make our first pizza base. By applying some plain flour or maida, we'll roll our dough into a round shape. We'll be using a heavy bottom pan to cook the pizza so that it doesn't burn. We'll switch on the flame and we'll keep the flame low throughout the process. We will press the sides and make a dent and then we'll pierce some holes on the pizza base so that it cooks properly. Now we'll spread our pizza sauce uniformly. Next, we'll spread the mozzarella cheese. We'll go on to add capsicum, some onions and some olives. You can also use jalapenos if you have them available. Sprinkle some chilli flakes and mix herbs. We'll apply some oil on the sides. Preferably use olive oil for this. Cover your pizza and let it cook on a low flame for around 8 to 10 minutes. Check the sides of the pizza with a fork. The pizza is completely done and I'm sure you won't be able to resist it anymore, just the way I couldn't. Hello everybody, I hope you enjoy making pizza for your friends and family. We upload a new video every Wednesday, so please do like, share and subscribe. The music for this video was composed by Poriti Man. Do follow the YouTube page.